in a world of increasing population and rising urbanization, innovation has become the cornerstone of progress. Here, in the heart of Ifamoseng Cross River State, nature is meeting industry as we build progress from waste. Introducing the Geocycle Alternative Fuel and Raw Materials Facility, a pioneering effort by Lafarge Africa, a member of the Wholesome Group, to not only manufacture cement and other building products and solutions, but to redefine the very principles of sustainability in the industry. Our vision is to uh, reduce the greenhouse gases effect and at the same time help the planet to go green. Especially in the Farmosing AFR project has capacity to reduce 90,000 tons of CO2 emissions when it comes in full operations. For GeoCycle within La Page, the main objective is to drive the decarbonization process that leads us to net zero. You know, as a company, we've already pledged from the Ocean Group to drive projects that will allow us to achieve net zero. And this project here in Calabar is one of the initiatives to move us to that objective of net zero. Cement production is known to be one of the largest sources of carbon emissions worldwide. With poorly managed waste accounting for 20% of global methane emissions, at Lafarge Africa, through the GeoCycle AFR facility, will not only be lowering its carbon emissions, but also contributing to a circular economy. The materials that we have on ground are all mainly agricultural residues. The likes of um, palm kernel shell, palm kernel shaft. These are materials that we source from the farms, various farms around. And uh, with the capacity of the facility we have on ground, and with the service that we offer, we'll be able to treat various waste streams. Apart from the biomass materials, we can also receive industrial waste. I mean expired products, pharmaceutical wastes, and also oil and gas materials. All of these can be treated in our co-processing line. At the end of the day, we get zero waste in future. We prefer those ones that are clean. So along the line, even while we're taking it, we try to engage them and encourage them how they should prepare it so that um, it's reasonably clean for our own consumption. Now, the ones that they have, of course, they make something from even cleaning it. Because previously, it was nothing to them. It was just purely waste and consuming areas in their space. And we now came with a solution for them. And at the same time, while they make money from it. At the core of our AFR facility lies advanced technology, which includes a 3,200 square meter shed, a state-of-the-art material handling equipment, including an explosion-proof split feed hopper, firefighting system for the entire system up to the feed point at the calciner. From pre-processing to energy recovery, every step is meticulously designed to maximize efficiency and minimize environmental impact. Now the general scope of this project is has to do with civil works, electrical and mechanical works as well. For the civil works, we have a 40 meter by 80 meter uh, shed. Uh, to house uh, or store the raw material. Then for the mechanical works, we have uh, a moving floor, uh, an apron conveyor, a dozing conveyor, which is essentially a weighing system. Then we have a air belt conveyor, we call it a pipe con, uh, to transport the material from the shed to the preheater uh, platform. Also, we have a bin, we call it an OptiFit bin. It's a weighing system as well as also a safety device and a metering system. This structure here, was locally designed by a Nigerian consultant and the workforce of course is uh, local. We had uh, uh, foreign partners in person of uh, West Asia who are the main equipment supplier. This project will help a lot reducing the carbon footprint in, in pharmacy in the West area in Nigeria. This project has not recorded an LTI from the beginning of this project 
and then today we are commissioning this project. So this goes to show clearly how much commitment that the company has put into ensuring that health and safety is top notch, that the traveling employees, our contractors can come here, work safely and return home safely. By sourcing materials locally, we are fostering partnerships within the community. Farmers are turning what was once waste into a resource and in turn they contribute to our environmental goals. PKS before this time used to be a waste. People would extract the oil, extract the panel and throw it on the side of the road. But with the introduction of this project, it has turned into something useful both for us as a company and for the community around us. We were burning this stuff before before. So it was causing a lot of smoke and air pollution. So far, I've had a, a very good working relationship with the Geocycle and I'm also enjoying their support. What I'm having now, I keep it so that it will become up to a one truck if I can sell it out. Some people start to back it and sell it depending on what they have. You see the youths now, some people are buying the material, some are bagging, some are sewing the bags, some are loading into the trucks, some are drivers of the trucks. What is PKS doing now and what is Lafarge doing to the people that have created jobs? The PKS business itself, apart from the contribution of protecting ozone layer depletion, right, is a new whole experience and we've seen so many opportunities in it that we can harness and tap into. We've delivered so far 25 kT plus the recycled material and we've delivered to the site. And that has to do with um, the support from our transport partners, which we use the uh, trucks to do delivery. And these same trucks are the trucks that we are using to do loading cement from the plant. In returns, we bring back these materials. As we look towards the future, where there is zero waste of waste, we envision a world where industry and nature will thrive in harmony. The AFR facility is reinforcing our environment towards sustainability and a net zero future as we turn waste into progress for a healthier and greener planet.